Ever since the novel was released in 1990 and the movie debuted three years later, humanity has been awed by the sheer power and destructive forces of the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. It was a brilliant idea, part science fiction and science fact, with just enough plausibility that it could be believable. After hearing the story, many were left thinking, could scientists really find old DNA and use it to create an animal that has been long dead? Even more so, have scientists already tried something like this? We've got the answers crazy enough today on Cool Stuff, Strange Things. The problem, it seems, lies in the misplaced theory that DNA could survive all of that time. Not so, say experts. DNA will only be readable for about 1.5 million years. Since dinosaurs lived 66 million years ago, it wouldn't be possible to use any of their dino DNA. It's as simple as that. But that doesn't mean that no one's tried. Those crazy Nazis were up to no good again. They wanted to bring back long dead animals like they had during their ancestors' time and let them live on large nature preserves. As legend goes, those old timey Germans would prove their manhood by going into the wilds alone to kill one of those beasts. The Nazis wanted that challenge too. Led by zoologist Lutz Heck, they traveled the world trying to recreate large horned cattle called aurochs through selective breeding and some claimed they were successful into the 1930s. Many countries like Canada actually donated animals to the effort. The het cattle, which has long horns, were naturally aggressive and could live on their own. They were eventually found all across Europe. Heck would continue his experiments as the Nazis rose to power, creating breeds of wild horses similar to those of long ago. Life finds a way, but genetically they were nothing like the real thing. A wonderful case study just in case Jurassic World becomes a reality. The surviving heck animals now live in zoos. It's not exactly Jurassic Park, but it's not that far off either. Hold on to your butts. I'm Sabrina Seek, and I'll be back next week with more cool stuff and strange things.